Hi! Today we're going to cover everything regarding Tannis Armor tubeless installation, including all the secret little tips and tricks that we've accumulated from bike shops and riders across the country. Before you jump in, you'll need to make sure you have a few things. Tubeless tires, tubeless compatible rims, tubeless sealant, a pair of work gloves, tubeless tape, and valves that are already set up on a rim. If at the end of the installation you find the bead just won't seat, it may be worth taking a look at your rim tape and checking for places that air could escape. Before beginning installation, let's remove the insert from the box. You may notice that straight from the box, the insert has some kinks. You may experience an easier install if you place the insert on the rim and let it sit for a few hours. Now let's dive into the install. Step one, start by putting the first bead of the tire over the rim. Make sure that the tape doesn't come up when you put it over. Step two, put the first bead of the armor over the rim and make sure to line up the valve cutouts with the valve. Try and put the second bead of the armor over the rim too. If it won't stay in, not a big deal. Now this is where a tip may help some of you. With brand new tires and brand new inserts, when installed, you may find that the insert doesn't sit straight in the tire and can cause a wobble. To fix this before putting the armor into your tire, put a few drops of dish soap on two places. One, the portions of the insert that touches the tire, the bead and the bend in the wing. And two, the inside of your rim bead. Then using your finger, spread out the dish soap evenly across all those surfaces. This allows your bead to seat without the insert getting twisted within the tire. Step three, work the second bead of the tire over your rim. Use your thumbs to get the first few inches of the tire to stay in the rim. A very important tip is to be centering your tire on the rim. This means you push the tire and insert to the center channel. This frees up space on your bead and allows the tire and insert to fit over the rim. Once the first few inches are in, the bead should stay in while you work the rest of the bead around. Work the bead of the rest of the way around the rim by pushing in the insert, then the tire, repeating until you get to the part where you have just a bit of tire left to get over, about five to six inches. If you don't have a valve core remover, this would be the time to pour your sealant into the opening of the tire. The other option would be to wait until the end and push the sealant into the tire via the valve hole. If you are having a hard time getting the last part of the tire over the rim, here's the best process that we can give via video to help. Go back around the tire and push the tire into the center channel of the rim on both sides of the tire. Do you see that little line on the side of the tire? That's the bead marker. I try and always get that line to disappear behind the rim. Once you get back to the difficult section, you should have enough to give it to push over with your thumbs or get a tire lever and use it to help and get it over the rim. If it's a tough bugger, then grab your second tire lever, go to the outside edge of the portion of the bead that isn't in and push it over the lip of the rim and hold it there. Now using the second lever, go to the opposite end of the undone section and flip the bead over. While holding lever one in place, gently take lever two out. Go to the now new end of the undone portion and lift the bead over. Now use your thumbs to push the last few inches of tire over the rim. Now that the insert is in, massage the insert to make sure it's centered in the tire. If you didn't put sealant in earlier, remove your valve core and put the sealant in the tire through the valve. Lastly, pump up your tires. The ability to use a home pump is a feature that only Tannis Armor can claim because the armor pushes the bead of the tire out, which helps you seat the tubeless system. So chances are you won't even need a compressor. Most of the time, a normal pump will do the job. The bead is fully seated when the bead indicator line is equal around the tire all the way around. If you're having a hard time getting the bead to seat, check your tape to make sure it doesn't leak and then use a bit of window cleaner on the portion of the bead that won't seat. Continue to add pressure until the bead seats, but we don't recommend going above 40 PSI or so. Once it's set, give the tire a couple bounces, shake it, spin it, and move it so the sealant is evenly distributed in the tire. You should hear no air leaks and see no bubbling of sealant anywhere. If you do hear or see these, shake the tire to see if the sealant will plug up those holes. If it doesn't, go check over everything again. And if you still can't figure it out, it may be worth checking with your local bike shop to see if they can help figure it out with you. It may be a bigger issue than we can see. And that's it. If you have any extra tips, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.